EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your outlook for November 9th, 2020. For your Monday, we still have high pressure sitting directly over the region. That means more of the same. This is what I called the superfecta. Uh, well, it lasted the video on, uh, on, on Friday night for the weekend, and uh, this uh, would be the fourth straight day here. Uh, for those of you not familiar with horse racing terminology, that's four consecutive days of almost exactly the same kind of weather with mostly sunny conditions, maybe a little fog to start in a few places this morning. Once that burns off, we are back into the middle 70s in many locations across the region today. So very warm day, challenging record highs again for the second straight day. There were a lot of record highs set yesterday. Uh, well, we got uh, temperatures very similar to what they're going to be today. So Another day you can enjoy it too and, and play hooky if you want to from work and if you want to extend the weekend a little bit. Uh, once we get to Tuesday, we're going to get more into a southerly flow. And this is all ahead of uh, a frontal boundary moving in into the upper Midwest here, which is way out here. That's going to be our weather maker here on Wednesday. But you're also getting a southwesterly flow and a tropical feed coming in here. Uh, this is uh, not directly associated with, uh, with, with Ada down here in the Gulf of Mexico. But it is a kind of a southwesterly flow aloft that's going to be streaming in here ahead of this on Tuesday. So we're going to start off with patchy morning fog on Tuesday and then partly cloudy skies as opposed to mostly sunny. Not much difference, but a little bit. And that's going to get temperatures a little bit lower by about 5 degrees or so, but still remaining quite warm here on Tuesday. Again, on uh, Tuesday night, we're going to have an increase in clouds as this front approaches. And Ada is down here in the northeastern gulf here at that point. And uh, we have this cold front moving through our region during the day on Wednesday. I think uh, it's going to be cloudy in the morning on Wednesday. And then when you get in the afternoon and uh, overnight especially, we'll have periods of rain with this frontal boundary. And there could be some decent amount of rain uh, coming in mainly in the overnight period. Uh, kind of evening and overnight, we'll have some decent, uh, decent amount of rain, about an inch or so of rain in some places here overnight on Wednesday night. And then uh, some showers lingering in here to uh, Thursday morning before this uh, pulls away uh, and then the remnants of of Ada will this will actually make landfall it won't be remnants when it hits uh, the big bend area of Florida it'll still be a tropical storm at that point but the remnants after that point once this moves off to the north and east will remain likely to the south and east of our region we're going to keep a close eye on this though because it's going to be dangerously close to the uh, southeastern portions of our coverage area in southern New Jersey and Delaware so the coastal plain we will watch very closely with that here is that system uh, and this is exactly where it is here at this exact hour. It is actually sitting right over, almost over top of Marathon Key here in Florida, in, uh, in, the, in the Florida Keys. And it's going to take a weird evolution here where it's going to actually, uh, it's actually moving westward and it's going to end up heading south like this and then coming up here north into the Big Bend area of Florida. Kind of a strange evolution there. Uh, but uh, that's exactly what the European model and many others are trying to do. See, it takes it to the south here, and uh, then it kind of almost stalls down here, just on the, the uh, far western edge of Cuba, and then comes back northward here, and eventually settles into the Big Bend region of, of uh, Florida, and that would be on Thursday. So it's going to be with us all week here in this general vicinity, and it's going to take its time moving out of there. And here's the uh, radar image this evening out of... Uh, out of Miami, and this uh, this is showing that it's almost right over it's right over the Florida Keys. It's very close to the Mar Marathon, Florida area, almost on top as far as the eye is concerned. And a big lashing of these uh, bands here with this tropical storm into places like Key Largo and Miami right now. Fort Lauderdale was getting hammered hammered earlier this evening, so a uh, decent amount of rain with that. A big rainmaker for those down there. Some gusts in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. For most of these areas, a little bit higher parks across parts of the Keys closest to that uh, center of circulation. But uh, this is going to be moving away from land areas here for the next couple of days before the next time we'll have to deal with that is going to be on, or at least in the continental United States, you'll have to be, uh, it would be on uh, Thursday before we're dealing with that again. And that would be for the Big Bend area of Florida, most likely. So after this point, after this system leaves, uh, we are going to return partly cloudy skies here on Friday. It will be cooler behind this frontal boundary. So we're going to be warm here for the next couple of days and actually warm through Wednesday until that front comes through. Temperatures are going to drop back down into the 60s on Thursday, most likely in the 50s, Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday uh, with uh, much cooler temperatures coming in here. And then we have a chance of showers coming in here uh, either uh, looks like later on Sunday is what the uh, European model is suggesting here with uh, 
with the next batch of showers and the associated cold front. So uh, we'll uh, we'll monitor this closely and see how this how this evolves here. But right now it looks like we have a nice couple of days in between any systems. Partly cloudy Friday, mostly sunny here on Saturday, and then we have this next system coming in. Looks like later on Sunday with a few showers that'll go into the overnight period, and then another cool shot coming in behind that. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for November 9th, 2020. Have a great Monday.